The Division of Clinical Anatomy at Stanford is very unique in that we are in the clinical department in the Department of Surgery and all our faculty are clinicians. And so we afford the same respect and care to our donors that we do to all our patients. There's something really powerful about learning anatomy through a cadaver experience and particularly a, di a dissection experience. They do become really part of this process and this community in trying to educate our future providers. So it's really important and honorable really what they do uh, for us and for our students. The technological resources that we have are wonderful and very innovative. They provide a lot of rich educational opportunities, but they do not replicate the experience with cadavers. Cadavers provide not only the visual aspect, but the tactile aspect, and most importantly, the human aspect of interacting with anatomy. We will try and make sure that the body is used to the greatest ability in terms of what it has to offer. Hip replacement, pacemaker, uh, previous surgery at some point in the past will not uh, exclude uh, potential donors. Some infectious diseases are not considered safe for us to handle, so we would have to exclude those. The remains are not returned to the family members. The remains are scattered at sea. At Stanford, the students here, the faculty here, we set a really, really uh, important precedent that all of our donors are to be honored and to be thanked for their sacrifice and the sacrifice that the donors' families make as well. At the moment we have uh, a ceremony which is uh, for the relatives. Uh, the students also run their own brief ceremony which is intended for them to help to understand where the bodies came from and how valuable they were. 